Let's balance the equation for Na2CO3 plus C plus N2. This is sodium carbonate. This is just carbon and this is diatomic nitrogen gas here. So let's first count the atoms up and then balance the equation. Two sodium atoms, one carbon here, and one here. Make sure you count both of those. One plus one equals two. Three oxygens and then the two nitrogens. Product side, we have the one sodium. We have one carbon here and again one here. So we have two carbon atoms. Be careful with that. One oxygen and one nitrogen. So since we have a carbon here and here and then the products here and here, let's balance the carbons last. That might be a little bit easier. So how about sodium? We have two here and one here. Let's put a two in front of the sodium cyanide. One times two, that'll balance the sodium atoms. Then for the carbon, let's update that. Two times the one, that's two, plus the one here. So we have three carbon atoms and then two times one, two nitrogens. So the nitrogens are balanced, carbons and oxygens, a bit of a problem. It'll be easy to fix the carbons because we can change this coefficient and that won't change anything. The oxygens, one oxygen times three, that would balance the oxygens. Let's update the carbons. So we have two times the one, that's two, plus three times the one here, that's three. We have five carbon atoms. Here's the way to think about this. Right now, all we need to do is balance the carbons. So one plus some number is going to equal the five here. So one plus four, that equals five. So we could just put a four in front of the carbon. We're done. This equation is balanced. If you wanted to write the states, they look like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus C plus N2. That gives us this NaCN plus CO. Thanks for watching.